there's nothing better than the feeling you get after a great workout, unless you combine burning those calories with a great cause. That's exactly what Sioux Falls Fit Body Boot Camp is looking to do this Saturday. CJ Workamp is the owner and trainer at Sioux Falls Fit Body Boot Camp, and he's here to tell us how sweating it out this weekend can help support a local military family in Kelloland. Welcome, CJ. Well, thanks, Brittany. So how much fun does this sound? I mean, where did this idea even come from? Yeah, so we have uh, a client of ours who is actually involved in a veterans motorcycle club. And he had brought the idea to us, hey, would you ever be interested in running an event where we actually raise money for local veterans? And one of our big uh, missions at Fit Body is being a gym that's known as giving back to our community. So when he brought up that idea, uh, it just made sense to figure out how could we put together an event uh, to do this. Yeah. So we are sweating for a vet this Saturday. Yep. Is there going to be anything different when it comes to the type of moves you're doing or what type of workout? Yeah, so this event is open to the public. So anybody and everybody can come. You don't have to be a client of ours. And we normally run 30 minute sessions. For Sweat for a Vet, it's a 15 minute uh, come as you want session. So every three minutes, uh, you can jump in and start. And it's a 15 minute circuit. And if you wanna go through twice or more, whatever you wanna do, you can. Um, a lot of the exercises are going to be more of just a typical exercise um, because we do want to cater to the entire community. And so more just typical exercises and then it's free will donation. So you can come in and leave a buck. You can come in and leave a hundred bucks. Totally up to you what you want to donate. And then we have some snacks and refreshments uh, afterwards. And then we'll have that Veterans Motorcycle Club, uh, some of those guys there with their bikes and stuff as well. So a lot of fun. So let's go through some of these moves. We're just going to yeah. show some different examples. Yep. So what's up first? Yeah, so uh, we always do lower body, upper body, uh, some core and some cardio. So we'll kind of go right in that order. Lower body first, uh, some squats. So let's go ahead and kind of show with the squat. I like to always talk about proper form to make sure that you're working your muscles properly. So uh, you can stand looking uh, straight forward, yep. I'll stand sideways. When we're going to go to the squat, you're going to have feet shoulder width apart. You're going to come on down. And I want to make sure, keep your knees, Brittany, behind your toes. So you're really pushing your booty backwards, coming down trying to get to that 90 and then straight back up uh, for me I like to have my hands kind of in front of me mm -hmm. to help my chest stay up and help me stay in proper alignment so for that squat coming down low notice how my knees are, are back behind my toes and then come up straight so we get the squat uh, squats we can also do the lunges so with the lunge same thing you can go ahead straight you're yep. gonna just have to go left leg you're gonna step forward with your left leg so step that leg forward and then the key to this the lunge is you're actually then dropping your back knee towards the ground so that front knee is just a guide so drop that back knee towards the ground don't quite touch and then come back up and then you can step it back in so we got the squats and the lunges for lower body um, for upper body we're gonna have some push-ups uh, I know those are your favorite I asked uh, if we could skip these. No, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, uh, however, I'll be so nice. You demonstrate a push-up on your knees. Okay. I will demonstrate the push-up on your toes. Okay. So let's go ahead and go down uh, on the ground here. And we like to make sure that we have our thumbs pointing together for proper form here. And then your elbows are going to drive back. Brittany, of course, is on her, her knees, and yep. I'll be on my toes. So go ahead and go down all the way, flat back, and then push it all the way back up. The key is to make sure you're taking your whole body with you as you come down. And as you go up, a lot of times we can kind of see people come down here, but their butt is still up. We want you to bring that whole body down and all the way up. So that's one of our upper body moves that we'll be doing. We're also going to be go ahead and, and adding dumbbells into the mix as well. Okay. So we'll do bicep curls, shoulder presses. And then for some of the core movements, we'll do just your typical sit up, uh, maybe a Russian twist. What's your thoughts on the Russian twist? I like the Russian twist. Why is it called the Russian twist? I, I actually don't know that. I don't either, but let's do it anyway. Okay. So you're going to go ahead and sit down for the Russian twist. Uh, Brittany, I'm going to have you put one leg over the other. Keep okay. your one heel on the ground. Okay. Keep one heel on the ground. Yep. And then uh, again, we're going to just hold hands together. And I want you just kind of going side to side and touching. Okay. Um, as close as you can. You don't got to quite touch the ground, but you're going side to side. That's going to work your core. A little more advanced would be raising your heels off the ground. And you're going side to side for that Russian twist. Uh, in the gym, we may add some weight or right. a medicine ball to that. So working your core. And then let's go ahead and stand up. Some of the cardio moves we're going to do, uh, jumping jacks. Okay. So a couple of different variations. We'll start with the regular jumping jack. So just open it and close it with that jumping jack. So show me that. Yeah, that's perfect. I love it. Look, and with Great the form. smile, with the smile. Great form. <laughs> um, if you want to up the intensity, we go then star jacks. So a star jack is where you start, feet are together. You actually open and then close back together. Okay. So go ahead. Show me your best star jack, Brittany. <laughs> Boom! Nailed it. That is awesome. So yeah, so those are some of the variations that we'll be doing. And the main thing is... Let's make fitness fun. Right. And if you can tie it to a great cause, 100% of the money that we raise will be going to a local veteran's family. Um, the 
Veterans Motorcycle Club is actually raising money all year long for veterans in need, and they're going to be finding the family to donate this money to. So, okay. yeah. What a great thing. Let's go over the details now because you did yep. say that you can kind of drop in, drop yep. by for 15 minutes or however. So, how can people get registered? Yeah, so basically, if you just come 10 minutes before you want to start your workout time, we will have waivers available to sign a waiver to work out. And then basically, you can jump in. So, it's from 7 30 to 10 o'clock. We're located on 40, uh, 43rd in Minnesota. So, you can come at any time between those hours. And like I said, free will donation. So, whatever you want to bring and come get a workout in. And what about those people who want to participate and give back to this cause, but maybe have restrictions where yeah. they can't work out yep. or have anything like that going so, on? Yeah, so this is actually our third year doing this event. And every year we've had people stop by that don't work out. They just stop by, uh, they donate to the cause, uh, maybe they'll kind of watch the workout for a little bit, grab a snack, and then head on their way. So that is more, uh, than, more than okay as well or stopping by any time and just dropping off money for that cause, we'll make sure it goes to the right cause. So as it being the third year, what has the response been? Um, it's been very good. We do have hopes to grow this. I would love to get actually all the gyms in our community kind of uh, in this event. Um, so the response has been definitely growth year after year. Um, we're hoping that just on this particular day, Saturday, um, from 7.30 to 10, we can raise at least $1,000 in-house. Um, and our hope is to raise over two grand uh, with it going to the end of the month. So, yep. Well, good luck at the awesome. event. Thank you so much, CJ, for coming yes. in and telling us all about this. Awesome. Thank you, Brittany.